At the end of June 1894, there was an interview between Lord Queensbury and myself in my library. He called upon me at about four o'clock in the afternoon. He said, Sit down. I said, I do not allow anyone to talk like that to me in my house or anywhere else. I suppose you have come to apologize to me for the statements you made about me in the letter you wrote to your son. I should have the right any day I chose to prosecute you for writing such a letter. The letter was privileged as it was written to my son. How dare you say such things to him about us? You were both kicked out of the Savoy Hotels for your disgusting conduct. That is a lie. You've taken furnished rooms for him at Piccadilly. Someone has been telling you an absurd set of lies. I have not done anything of the kind. I said, Lord Queensbury, do you seriously accuse us of improper conduct? He replied, I do not say you are it. But you look it, and you pose as it, which is just as bad. If I catch you again with my son in any public restaurant, I will thrash you. I do not know what the Queensbury rules are, but the Oscar Wilde rule is to shoot at sight. Leave my house. It is a disgusting scandal. If it be so, then you are the author of the scandal and nobody else. This is the Marquis of Queensbury, the most infamous brute in London. You are never to allow him to enter my house again. I am the hall porter at the Albemarle Club. Mr. and Mrs. Wilde are members of the club. On the 18th of February, the Marquis of Queensbury came to the club and said, I'm here to see Oscar Wilde. When I informed him that he was not there, he wrote a note on a card and said, Give that to Mr. Wilde. Posing Sondamite. I read it, but I did not understand it, so I put it in an envelope and addressed it to Mr. Wilde. Dear Robbie, Something has happened. Bosie's father has left a card at my club with hideous words on it. I can see nothing but a criminal prosecution. My whole life seems ruined by this man. I don't know what to do.